Hello everybody, Doc Sigma here with part two of Let's Play Soleil for the Sega Genesis. Now last time we left off here at the Refulsia training ground, we looked at the three different obstacle courses and decided that the only one that we can really do right now is the beginner course because the other two require us to have the ability to jump, which we definitely don't have yet. So let's go. These obstacle courses are a lot of fun. It possibly might be my favorite part of the game. Now that's an important thing to know. Whenever you see a red box like this, most of the time you're going to want to hit it with your sword because it'll make something happen. Now that I know from experience that I don't want to hit that other one because it's going to make that whole pit fill up with spikes. And that's something we really don't want. So let's just keep moving. Boxes like this, three hits on there gone. Got a coin there. Apples replenish your health, one unit. You can see the word max flashing to the right of our row of eight apples. That means that our maximum health is eight apples. If you should get maximum health higher than eight apples, every eight will translate into a big apple, which is above the health bar. See where it says times zero? So when we get our next life stock, or golden apple as they call it, that'll go up to times one. Now these boxes that look more like chests are much more likely to contain items. Apples, coins, what have you. Well, actually I guess that's about it. And these big flat rocks, they can be cut as well. You don't want to go on the ones with the spikes, because you'll take damage. And I was able to get my controller to work in a way that I wanted it to. If you remember last time I was bitching about how it was acting in such a way that I had to use the analog stick. Well, I don't have to do that anymore. I can use the control pad. Yay! Oh, please, give me some very useful advice. Okay. Uh... Thanks for nothing. Big jerk. You didn't teach me anything. Now let's look at this. It's also kind of one-way floors. You automatically start moving in the direction they're pointing. So you gotta look out for those. Some more boxes here. I don't really care. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, the most pointless area in the game, Monster Crossing. There's absolutely no reason to go here. It is a dead end. If you fall into the lava like I just did, you'll suffer a point of damage. And all of the areas near the lava are basically acting like one-way floors, so you get drawn into it. And these enemies are too powerful for us to deal with right now, and they don't really give rewards to make it worthwhile. For example, see these caterpillars? They take multiple hits, but look what happens on the first hit. They turn into a ball, which bounces around, and which, by the way, happens to be invincible while it's bouncing around. So screw this place, we're out of here. We can get back over to here, where the music is awesome. Isn't this really pretty cool music in this area, by the way? I hope you can hear it okay. I mean, I personally can't. It's one of the weird things about when I do LPs. Due to my bizarre audio setup, I actually cannot hear the music when I'm doing it. Now if I hit this switch, all those trees are going to go away, and they're going to be replaced with bees! But, looks like I'm going to have to hit the switch, because there's those blue blocks on the way. Yeah. Oh, did I mention spikes? Anyway, these bees can't actually kill you, but they're really annoying because they knock you around. In fact, once we gain the ability to jump, they actually become even more annoying because they can knock you off platforms and into water or lava or whatever. But when you don't have the ability to jump, they can't do that. It's kind of interesting. They'll knock you right up to the edge, but you won't actually fall into it. So now those are gone and we can make our way through. There's another switch to hit, but this time it's a little less deadly. See, I'm walking up to that edge, but I can't fall because I can't jump. Now 
And on this section we have to be careful of these moving spike things. Those are such a staple of action RPGs, aren't they? The generic moving spiked things. Now we can run in this water because it's not too deep, but if we tried to go in deeper water we would drown. Because we have a whole point of energy. And that's it! That's the end of the first obstacle course. We got the bronze medal! Yeah! We've had access to the obstacle course for all of ten minutes of our young life and we already have a medal. Let's go talk to the king about that. Let's go brag to the king about how awesome we are. I mean, it took Amon like 20 years to get all the medals, and here we are, just a little kid, and we've already got one of them. We're well on our way to becoming an hero and getting that lovely golden holy sword. So let's just see what the king has to say. By the way, do you notice the king has, like, bunny ears, or like, bat wing ears, or, well, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, look at his ears, and let's just stay here for a second, and eventually they'll start to flap. Look at those ears. They're ridiculous. Come on, move them. Wiggle them. I know you can wiggle your ears. Come on, you son of a bitch. Wiggle your ears. No? Okay, maybe if I talk to you. Nah. Dude, that's exactly what you said before I had any medals. Okay, maybe the minister will say something nice. Look at me. I got the bronze medal already. You little whore! You little whore! Look! Look! I am 14 years old. Today is my birthday. I've had access to that trading ground for like 10 minutes. I already got a goddamn medal. You're not even gonna throw a little priest my way? I want my attaboy! Come on, give me my attaboy! Ah, oh, frig. Give me. Ah, oh, screw you. What does it mean? I'm out of here. Let's go to that plaza west of Soleil Town. By the way, what is it with the king being king of a town? I mean, aren't kings usually like the rules of kingdoms, not just towns? Yeah, whatever. Now, no, let's go to church. Let's see what's going on in church. Tell this is not an NES game or a Super Nintendo game because there are crosses everywhere. They remove all crosses from Nintendo games because I don't know, churches are okay, but religion isn't or something. Whatever. Yeah, 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 monsters, etc., etc. Oh, and I keep meaning to mention, but I keep forgetting to mention. And one of the reasons I really like this game is because it features drum roll in your head. Emo monsters. Yes, emo monsters. Once you get about halfway to maybe two thirds of the way through the game, every boss that you fight is basically going to say something like, Rrr, I'm going to kill you now, rrr, 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 before you fight him. And then after you beat him, he's like, Oh, sub, 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 boo, hiss, why do I have to die? Why do I have to die just because I'm different? It's just, it's ridiculous. It's, it's comical. And this is that plaza west of town that Bull mentioned. Nice music here. Picnic table. What is this place? I don't want to be here. Hello, little boy. Uh, us? This one? Ooh, look at that. It's a slide, but I went in the wrong end. Who cares? What else is here? Anything? Ooh, a tent. Ooh, a mermaid. I can see her for free. Hello, mermaid. Bye. Well, I guess I should talk to you. Oh, yes. Yes, I would, actually. Uh, no, actually, I can't afford it. In fact, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to afford it. I don't think there will ever be any point in this game when I have 800 Marlins. I don't even know if it's possible to buy that life stock. And this flower can talk. But all it says is a Goggle 13 standard phrase. Why can that flower talk? Maybe we'll find out later. Now I don't need to know my future. I'll find it out eventually. Let me, let me, ugh, I can't get in! Ah, uh, oh well. Get out of here. Go back to the overworld map. 
Let's see where else we can go. Okay, that's Soleil Town. Okay, to the north is Refulsia. We've been there. To the east, it's nothing. Can't do anything there yet. To the west is Dahlia Valley. Now, if we had talked to everyone in town, a couple of people would have mentioned Dahlia Valley, but just in passing. But, I mean, nobody really comes out and tells you to go there, like, demands that you go there. Someone just kind of mentions that there's some monsters coming from there. But, it's really the only place we can go right now that we haven't already been to, so let's go there. And this actually looks like a good place to stop the video, so I'm going to go ahead and save. And I'm going to call that the video. This has been Dark Sigma with Let's Play Soleil. See you later.